Okay, example 15, we uh, the last before exercise 3E in chapter 3. So, first of all, uh, you should note that this is a top-heavy fraction or a vulgar fraction or improper fraction. So, w when you split it, you will have to, you have a constant term and then the remainder over the fraction that's left over. Um, so, before we do that um, and show it how we, it can be split, let's just factorise the denominator because you can do that easily. So, it's x squared plus 2 x squared plus 3. Okay, so uh, in fact, you, you should know that if you were to do divide it by a box method, you know, there will be 1 x to the power 4 in x to the power 4. So this term here, you could just call it 1 straight away. You know, otherwise call it a and then do the others. So here you've got two factors in the denominator, which is as far factorized as far as possible so you'll be left with two extra fractions that need to be added because there's two factors so x squared plus 2 will go over one fraction x squared plus 3 over the other right so what have we got here we've got a quadratic in both cases in the denominator so that tells me that in the numerator I can have um, at most a linear expression with but without it going into improper fraction so cx plus d all right so let's um bring the right hand side to the common denominator and then we'll be left with comparing the numerators so from this side you have x to the power 4 add x and on this side you have 1 times x squared plus 2 and then x squared plus 3 then you're going to have ax plus b multiplied by x squared plus 3. Then you're going to have cx plus d multiplied by x squared plus 2. And we're going to just uh, compare the coefficients. I'm not planning to expand it because they're quite simple expressions. You can easily see what contributes to x to the power 4 term, x cubed term, x squared, etc. So x to the power 4 will be compared first. There's 1 on the left hand side. And over here only from this you could see that's x squared times x, that's 1. I guess if you call that a, you would work out uh, this coefficient from this. So that, that wasn't really, didn't help us with finding the others. Uh, x cubed there's no x cubed on the left hand side can't get x cubed from this one you have ax times x squared so a lots of x cubed and then cx times x squared so c so a is equal to minus c let's carry on x squared there is none on the left hand side here you've got 2x squared and 3x squared so five lots here you will have that b times x, so b lots, and here you will have d times x squared, so d lots. So that gives me b plus d is equal to minus 5. x's, you've got 1 on the left hand side, no x's from this bracket. Here you've got ax times 3, so 3a lots, and d cx times 2, so 2 um c lots right so actually you could find uh, using this one here we can find what um c is first it's one is equal to substitute minus c you have minus three c plus two c so that gives me c is equal to minus one because that will give me minus c is equal to one okay let's carry on and find the last one that we can find zero constants you've got six from the first expansion you've got three b from the second expansion and you've got two d from the last expansion okay by the way i found what i can get what a is that's going to be one from this one okay but i also know that b plus d is equal to minus five b is therefore minus d 
minus 5. So if I sub it into this, I will have 0 is equal to 6 minus into this times it by 3. 3d minus 15 plus 2d. So rearranging that gives me 2d minus 3d. So minus d, move it on the left hand side, is d. 6 take away 15 is minus 9. And b is going to be minus 9. minus minus nine so plus nine minus five which is four okay so um we had to do that before we can start uh, the actual integration so let's now rewrite our function and so this was part a um we have split it into i'll write it straight away for part b into one plus ax plus b so a was 1 so it's 1x plus b b is minus b is plus 4 that one was over x squared plus 2 and then the second one is 3x so cx which is minus x and then plus d which is plus 4 dx perfect Okay, so over here we're just going to um, use, um, so we've already done that kind of question before, um, so we have to split this one into x over x squared plus 2 plus 4 over x squared plus 2 and this one minus x over x squared plus 2 plus 3 add 4 over x squared plus 3 so this one will go to 4 actually do it separately um, let's write it nicely here it's 1 plus x over x squared plus 2 minus x over x squared plus 3 and then we're going to have 4 over x squared plus 2 and then plus 4 over x squared plus 3. Okay, so let's deal, deal with the, these two first. Okay, so in this instance, it's, you can see it will go to arctan. Remember, if you've got 1 over a squared plus x squared, That will go to <coughs> 1 over a um, arc tan x over a. And um, uh, the second one, will, the other two will do by uh, substitution. Okay, so uh, over here we are going to have a being equal to a squared is 2. So a is square root of 2. So this one here will go to, let's write it over here, uh, 4 on the top, because we didn't normally have 1, and a is root 2, so we'll divide it by root 2, and it's going to be arc tan x over root 2, plus this one will have 4 over root 3 arc tan x over root 3 okay so hopefully i don't need to explain why because we've just explained with that so we've got plus c so now we just need to work out the other two missing two to begin with we are going to have x so now i'm looking for the other missing two so let's start with um x over x squared plus 2 i'll do this one slowly and then the the next one a bit quicker so we use substitution for the denominator, x squared plus 2, so du dx is going to give you 2x, so du is 2x dx, so a half du replaces x dx, and that's what we have here, we've got x dx, so that will go to a half du, and that will go to u. So we are going to integrate uh, 
half over u du. So that will go to a half ln. But we've got x squared plus 2. I'll replace my u straight away with this. Okay, so if you look and uh, if you have a go at doing exactly the same uh, with the second one, the second one here will go to, um, sorry, it's this one here, it's going to go to minus a half um, ln x squared plus 3. So let's write it down. So it's going to be a half ln x squared plus 2 minus a half ln x squared plus 3. There you go. So the only um, final thing you could do with this expression, you can combine the logs. So it gives you a half ln of x squared plus 2 over x squared plus 3 plus 4 over root 2 arctan x over root 2 plus 4 over root 3 arctan x over root 3 plus c. There you go. Okay. Um, again, this one you could have rationalized the denominators if you prefer. So now we've got exercise 3. This is and the mixed exercise chapter 3 done.